So the first multi-dollar or million-dollar question of the day is, where the fuck have I been? Um, a couple of you guys were all like, where was Tabletop at this week? Why did we not get to see Magnet Warriors and Silent Swordsman's? Well, shout out to the good old card companies on TCG Player that love to send your stuff seven days later than it should be. You're the real MVP. I'm not going to mention names, but... Uh, just know that amongst me getting sidetracked and not having everything here, uh, we're going to delay Tabletop until next week. Um, there's a slight chance it might get pushed back one more week. Um, the big No Limit Gaming $1,000 free Card by Vanguard tournaments this weekend, um, next Saturday. And I want to test as much as we can. Uh, to those of you that don't really keep up with Vanguard, uh, you guys thought Invasion uh, was a good kickstart to Yugi. Uh, we got a very good support set for Vanguard as well, so I got a playtest. Um, one of the cool things about this is uh, Japan had a limit on a card that was already implemented before we got this set, so we can't go over to Japan and NetDeck because we have a different... Uh, that one card uh, breaks open the door to the deck. Uh, and it's uh, really cool because we can play something different. But you guys aren't here to hear about that. Um, I just wanted to point out that Tabletop is delayed uh, until next... or should be happening this week, uh, but we'll see. I um, wanted to kind of just gather thoughts on what you guys want to see uh, post this week. Um, I'm working on getting Totally Awesomes. Um, understand that new stuff... I, I want to kind of not spend fifty dollars on every toad. I like to pay like forties on them. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm waiting for the Monday price hype to cool down um, and see what's going on from there. So, um, Paleozoic, totally awesome, is something that's going to happen. Um, I don't think we're going to get the chance to see um, subterrors as much as we really want to. Uh, so I apologize for that. I it's just justifying hidden cities right now is just uh, it's so expensive for a card and especially the archers like 13 14 dollars so we'll have to wait and see where things go but what do you guys want to see we have death spots uh silence uh silent magician swordsman it'll be a mix of both um that you guys see play against magnet warriors uh do you guys have any deck ideas that you want to see uh, mixed into the variety um what are you, what do you what do you want to see um, in that duel? Um, obviously, I don't think we're gonna have super access to terror tops, so terror top Takum Tumborg might not really be an option unless we do some paper printouts and uh, proxy a couple things. So we'll have to wait and see there. But minor update there. Um, there should be some more goo coming this week. Um, sorry, I haven't been around. Uh, I didn't get to go to Michigan this weekend. Uh, I had to take care of inventory on cards. Uh, still much further behind than I wanted to be at the moment, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, but things are coming along pretty okay. Um, if you guys are looking for anything Vanguard or related whatnot, um, it's over on mcoolgames.com, you guys don't know do my own stuff um, in addition like I'm obviously partnered with No Limit Gaming um, very 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 good uh, we're known the owners for years um, that's why you guys always see me advertising them because uh, we go way back um, you guys also see me do work with Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint and Big In Collectibles for openings um, please do continue to check them out obviously um, very very great people you guys also get the chance to see the tournament matches on my channel you know sponsored by ppg arg troll and toad you know it's all a lot of good content uh coming together and i mean right now the tournament series it, it's legal up through dark lords and we obviously haven't got a chance to see dark lord yet but we're still only on round two now just started yesterday uh so keep that in mind uh, there's more good things. Me and John started to not share content, uh, which is very good. So you guys will get the chance to see different things. It was one of the complaints that we saw a lot of was the multi-uploads of the same thing. The th only thing you guys should probably see multi-upload um, 
Tinky's uploading the Blair match because he wanted he didn't have anything for his girlfriend's anniversary to upload, so wouldn't upload that. And it should just be the finals, so you should be seeing different matches on our channels, uh, which should diversify the content and whatnot between us. So yeah, there's there's not much else to really say. Uh, minor update on the Zodiac Duelist front. Um, kind of a Black Friday auction. Um, something special. Uh, probably going to have 10 special contributor dice. I, I know I promised I wasn't going to make any more dice this year, but we're going to ship them out when we produce the Zodiac four-year dice. Um, so it will be an additional dice to the set uh, for them. There's only going to be 10 of them. Like I won't even get one. So it's just a nice little thank you to them. Um, in addition to, like, I don't know if I'm going to do anything Christmassy this year. Um, I, haven't, I didn't do the 12 Days of Christmas last year, I don't think. I don't know if I'm going to again this year. Uh, deck building, amongst other things. Like, people request decks, and then often they don't turn out to be accurately good. Um, obviously, people can tell when a deck is just sloppily put together, yes. But sometimes you just can't make those things be any better than they actually are. I mean, some of the decks are Tier 4 for a reason, you know? One guy at uh, my locals I go to on Thursday nights was bringing up the point. He was like, Gladiator Beast are getting support. They're going to be Tier 1 again. I'm like, it doesn't matter what you give them. At this point in time, they're not going to be Tier 1 unless you give them an actual contact from the deck that lets you draw a card. Like, it needs to be able to fuse two Gladiator Beasts from the deck. And then, after this card resolves, you need to draw a card or some shit. Because, like, they need it. Because guys are us you know, hop along, uh, herk a jerk. I can't remember all their names. Same thing with all the Cosmo nicknames. There's Clit Rider, um, Cunt Shafter, I don't know. Cunt Shafter's not an actual name. Clit Rider, uh, I guess Farm Girl's Farm Girl. Uh, Straw Man, I don't remember Straw Man's name. Man, I can't remember these when I need to. It sucks. You know, Sperm Mellow. Uh, well, okay, these are Glad Beast names. Sperm Mellow. Uh, Hobblemus is Hopalong. Uh, Circle Jerk is uh, Heraclinos. Uh, what was. Harry Gary. That doesn't sound right, but that's Skets RS. Um, Besticles. Uh, I don't think Darius ever had one. Lacquer's Laquari. Uh, Darius, Mermillo. Yeah, that's all. I've taken enough time thinking about this. Uh, so that's just some of the, the, the more fun stuff that we kind of get into when playing this game. You have degenerate decks getting nicknamed. So, but yeah. So, not a discussion. Um, what, what you going to give Glad's? Nothing's gonna make them good. You you can tell yourself when you go to sleep at night, man. Glads are gonna be tier one. They're gonna be all the light soaring, all the ABCs. I mean, like, no, they're not. Like, over here's your hopes and dreams, every Gladiator Beast player. You can hope the deck will be good again someday, uh, and until you get some massive broken draw card that fuses from the deck for free. That shit ain't happening. By Felicia, like, so been hanging around with Austin too much because I, I I've cognitively learned all the the lingo, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so there's that. It's not really much else to update on. Uh, just look forward to the stuff um, to the people that follow me on. Patreon. Um, I updated you guys earlier in the week um, about lack of tabletop. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out my Patreon either, please check it out. Um, if you guys haven't sent any fan mail over to me, I would love to just get a letter of like a fat man, like just like pay hundred die of diabetes, kill yourself, you're fat, done. Like I've also got that signed card collection that. I need to actually update and show you guys as well. Um, one of the cool things that we did on the early stages of this channel um, was collecting signed cards from people. Um, it's one of the things I've actually really enjoyed 
just having all those throughout the years, whether it be tokens, playable cards, things like that, but I have them all, and I treasure them to death. Um, you know, it's one way to ensure that you'll never get rid of them. I mean, you can play them, obviously, as long as they're, like, signed in the picture, not, like, up here or down here. Um, it makes them, you know, legal. Also, this buddy rare looks fucking sweet. So, there is that. So, uh, like we said, we've been listing a lot of stuff. I'm gonna kind of show you guys. Okay, well, first off, the hole. The hole, as we, we said before, the hole, right? The hole is always getting bigger because my chair slams into it. But we were talking about that. Anyway, um, what is going on up here? All right, well, this is one of the rare things you'll get the chance to see. The workspace of Robbie Cole. I can't wait to actually get two monitors because this TV's terrible and this thing is burned up and doesn't work. But, yeah, the the tower. And then Mike. So, rare look at the workspace of Robbie Cole. And then it just kind of, like, dips down in here. Yes, the beginning of End Effect and cool ass anime sleeves. Also, TV. So, just a nice little tour of what's kind of going on in the life of Robbie Cole Senpai. So, yeah. Um, like I said, not super lot. Um, it was a good vacation if you consider it a vacation with all the work I had to do, but what you get so guys leave a comment down below tell me if you guys have any requests um anything special like that and i'm out peace i hope you guys enjoyed this video please thumbs up this video to show your support and please check out van cole 40 for card fight vanguard m cole games for miscellaneous trading card games and no limit gaming for a brand new series of Yu Gi Oh videos thanks for watching